Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Emma, these are my allotment slash gardening diaries. Um, you can probably see I'm in my home garden today. I've got my hair in a top knot and I'm ready to work. It is a working day in the garden because it's been a little bit neglected recently. I have spent a lot of time watering it and obviously trying to keep on top of it but we had that really um, awful heat wave in London where I think temperatures reached like 40 degrees and the garden's never seen anything like it so a lot did unfortunately die. <laughs> So I've got some plants from being queued to replace some of those uh, casualties from the heat wave but obviously I just want to sort out the garden basically and I think the best way to tackle something like this if you've neglected an outdoor space for some time is just to tackle it in bits and just to take on a few corners every day um, and really do them properly. Don't try and take on the entire garden in one go because you're not going to succeed and it's going to feel like too much. So just bit by bit and then hopefully we'll get around as much of it as we can and um, hopefully it'll look a lot better by the end of today. So I'm going to start on my courtyard vegetable garden which is just outside my kitchen and that's where we're going to start today. As always don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new and there are lots of other ways that you can follow me just down below. And without further ado let's get on with it. <laughs> right we are starting in the courtyard vegetable garden just down here. Um, you can probably see it is a little bit neglected, it's gone a little bit overgrown, a little bit chaotic, there's some weeds coming up throughout my pavement and some of it has died. I really don't want to take all the blame on this, I blame the heat wave. The heat wave was just so destructive and although I did try to water as much as possible it just, it just burnt and scorched everything and dried everything out within like half an hour and it was just dead. Um, so up here I used to have violas and they've all unfortunately perished. <laughs> sort of turning into a bit of a what's what's dead vlog at the moment isn't it but yeah all of these unfortunately didn't make it I didn't think they would they've got coir compost in here um which doesn't really hold much nutrients unfortunately and um I just didn't water them and they just died basically it's me some of the things in the pots here died I was eating quite a lot of this but unfortunately I got a bit bored of it and it just it really went crazy um, and my radishes unfortunately died as well so I'm gonna have to re-sow something in there the strawberries are looking a little bit sad but then at the same time they are finished so I might take them out and plant them somewhere else um, over the winter and then down here all of this just needs a good tidy up and a good sort through basically This is my little um, plastic greenhouse, I think you call it. It's really useful in the springtime and also at this time of year when you want to start things for the autumn winter and I'm going to be doing all my seeds for autumn winter soon. But as you can see, it's turned into a bit of a storage area slash dumping ground, I'm going to say, because I don't think all these pots are actually usable. So I'm going to have to take the plunge now and go through it all and chuck away the things that I'm just not going to use and just be really honest about it. And I really hate chucking things away. I really like keeping everything and finding a use for it. But sometimes you have just got to chuck things away. I can see that some of these pots are just not going to hold a seedling in it. So, right, let's, let's just do it. <laughs> Stop procrastinating. Nope, 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 not doing it. Look away now if you are squeamish and scared of spiders, like I am, but here I am pointing a camera at him. Oh my gosh, he's massive, isn't he massive? Isn't he huge? I've never seen a spider like that before, he's got a great big body as well. I'm really worried about him. There's always one, isn't there, that has to turn up and ruin the party. <sighs> Completely stuck now, because I've taken all this out and now there's a massive spider and I don't know what to do. Literally don't know what to do. <laughs> he's not little though, is he? You have to agree, he's not little. I 
think I got rid of him. I think I managed to shoo him on. But he'll probably turn up in a minute and make me scream. So that would be something to look forward to. Something to stay tuned for. Right, looking at all this that's come out of it. I think it's pretty obvious I've got a serious pot problem. Definitely got a bit of a pot problem going on. Um, definitely don't need all these pots. So I'm going to chuck the ones that are broken and stuff. And then store the ones I don't need. Okay, we, we've reached the front now. I'm gonna have to confront it and see if this bloody spider's back. It wasn't, I hope that wasn't the mummy and there's a daddy waiting for me. Can you imagine? Oh God. Oh, great, little snails and spiders. Just what we wanted to see. <laughs> done in terms of organization is I've basically put my pots into sizes so I've got the big ones together here and then kind of the medium ones together and then I've got all of my little ones I actually think that I use the smaller pots more than I do the bigger ones I always say I need big ones for like when I'm potting on things like pumpkins but I never have that many and I never use pots really this big so I'll keep a few but I think I'm just gonna keep the smaller ones and luckily they're all in really good condition so these will be absolutely fine to use next year and for the autumn as well. So I'm going to put the pots back in at the bottom in size order so that I actually remember where everything is. Try and keep it a little bit organised I think and that will help me to keep it nice. Um, but it will become a dumping ground again and I will be doing this horrendous job again soon. So that is just a fact. <laughs> can see I've got this great big chunk of wood here and this brick here and that's just to keep it down but also on the top I've got this plank um, and it does two things firstly it allows me to put all the small pots on without them sort of tipping over on these things which are okay these shelves but um, pots do kind of wobble on them so it's for that but also it weighs it down from the top and I find that if you put a weight at the top and weights at the bottom it just stops it from falling over or it's less likely to fall over I'm not going to say that that is definitely going to work but it's worked so far except when we had that really awful storm um, and then it toppled over but other than that it stayed standing so right good <laughs> a little cup of tea after my lunch oh my goodness it is so much better out here it's amazing what a little tidy up and a little bit of organization in the garden can do for you because it's like giving me this little burst of energy and I just want to energy what was that um <laughs> I just want to get out here and actually garden and actually do stuff and use it and it just feels so much better and just like I can just grab things and just do stuff now so I'm just looking at all of my vegetable plants here and thinking about maybe tidying them up a bit mulching them giving them a bit of a feed I've got some tomatoes growing on my tomato plants which is quite exciting tell you what it's a good thing I like tomatoes because I've got loads growing in my polytunnel at the plot and I've got loads growing here these I believe are gardener's delight they are looking fantastic really healthy really strong the plant is looking great too it could probably do with a bit of a feed um, and then on this one here, 
Um, I don't know what these are called, but they're great big knobbly looking things. They look very exciting to eat. Now this one is going red. However, on the bottom of him, I don't know if you can see, he's gone a bit funny and I'm a little bit worried he's got blossom end rot. I can't be sure because I know there's a variety of um, tomato that actually goes brown at the bottom but it does feel a bit squishy and rotty and this one hasn't got it even though he's green so I really think this one's a bit contaminated but I'm going to leave him for a bit longer and see what happens to him. Now I'm going to take off some of the lower leaves on this one because I think that's what he's asking for. You know what he's actually self-rooted here into another tomato plant it's actually a mini tomato plant that is quite amazing oh, I'm just killing in there sorry mate oh, mysterious world of the tomato plant don't even ask all right and this like I said is my healthiest plant so let's not kill him for goodness sakes <laughs> let's not kill him he's looking okay I just want to remove some of these lower leaves I think it will help the plant regenerate a bit. It's a great big spider sitting on that leaf, so I'll leave that one for now. You can have that. Let's find its time in a bit. With some tape, because I haven't got any twine, obviously. Unprepared even at home. And one of the things that I just love the most about gardening is that very rarely is anything in your garden that's been neglected completely unsalvageable. Very rarely can you not bring a plant back to life. And that's just when it's completely died. But even then the roots might be okay and the plant might come back the next year. So plants have this amazing ability to just rise up from the pits of despair and death, you know? They could be on the verge of just dying and keeling over and then they'll just miraculously come back. And sometimes it's not even anything we do. It's just the plant. There's just such a, an incredible like survival instinct in plants and it's really inspiring. It definitely inspires me when I'm in the garden. You know, like when I'm really struggling with something, I just think, what would an onion do, you know? And it would probably fight to the very last second and try and bring itself back to life. So always think, what would the onions do? What would the onions do? This is my quite sad looking courgette plant. I only grew one this year because I learnt my lesson from last year. Last year I had about four courgette plants and I was just inundated with them. Um, but he's looking a bit sad. He's given me one really, really good courgette and then he's sort of given up and gone, right, that's my lot done. <laughs> I think I'm over now, so. <laughs> I can see some good new leaves in here, so maybe he will regenerate himself, I don't know. What we'll do is we'll just give them the best chance, you know, just help them a little bit. It's all right, mate. The help's here. Help has arrived. I'm not sure I'm, I'm, I'm really the white knight that all these plants are hoping for when they're, they're hoping for help. I turn up with a pair of scissors. <laughs> Probably like, no, not her. Anyone but her. And then, of course, my uh, broccoli now looks like this. <laughs> It's been totally decimated by caterpillars. Never mind. It's nice to know that I've contributed to the butterfly population this year. So if you see an influx of, of uh, butterflies flapping about, that's me. I've fed them all. <laughs> They'll be the healthiest butterflies around here, that's for sure. Never mind. You win some, you lose some. So I've got some of this tomato right. Tomato right. To tomato wrong, you've got to tomato right. Um, it's just basically a tomato feed. I don't know how you open this. Let's just shake it. Oh, that comes off. That's the cap. Push down. Oh, God. I hate these things. I'm such a child. I can never open them. I cannot open it. I don't understand. Push and then what? Turn. I don't know which way it's got to turn. Right, okay, so it says 20 mils for every four litres. I've got about two litres here, so I'll do 10 mils. And we're just gonna basically feed everything. Mm, it doesn't smell as rancid as the seaweed, actually. It smells all right, actually, I'm all right with that. Let's 
that's not terrible. That is not terrible. So a lot of these pots up there sort of died. I think a couple of them, I think this one might come back to life and I think this one's got a flower on it so he might come back to life. I'm wondering if just to try but then these ones are sort of goners. You can see that because it's just, it is a goner. So what I did is I went to B&Q and they're doing four for 12 pounds on some of their more established herbs. And I love herbs. Herbs is the thing in this courtyard garden that I find that I've been using the most because they're so easy to pick and come again and I use them in almost everything now. Um, so I got these like herbs. This is a curry plant. It smells amazing. And I've never used it in one of my curries before. I'm so excited to use this. It's so beautiful as well. It's got like, it looks blue, doesn't it? It's like a blue sheen to it and I love it. Um, and I also got, and I got this gorgeous golden thyme. Oh, just beautiful. It's such a lovely green as well. Um, I got some good old chives, always use chives in everything, and um, some oregano as well, which is the compact oregano. It has like little beautiful flowers that appear on it. Such a lovely plant. And I was hoping to kind of break them up a bit and put them into these little pots. So I might try it with a couple and just see what happens. I hope I don't kill them. That's my biggest fear. <laughs> I reckon it's quite a big established plant because it looks massive. And I reckon you can break it up. Yeah, I reckon I can break it up into a little bit of a plant. I'm sure Monty Don uses scissors or something. Doesn't he use scissors? Oh, God. I hate the thought of buying a plant and then just killing it straight away. It's my absolute nightmare when it comes to plants. It's exactly what I'm doing right now. Right. I've split it. I think it might be all right, guys. Let's get rid of all that bit around there that's clearly dead. <laughs> are you gonna fit in my pot, mate, or are you gonna cause me trouble? God, I'm not plant or flower. Right, I reckon that'd be all right, you know. I hope he likes to be compact inside. Because he is, so if he's not, you better get used to it. Oh, you smell so good, I just want to eat you. <laughs> no dying on me, eh? Ooh, spider! <laughs> what is with these spiders today? Oh my god, they're just everywhere. Definitely feeling more motivated to get out here and actually look after it and stuff now that I've given it a good old tidy up. So I hope it's inspired you to maybe tidy up a bit of your garden. Remember to take it bit by bit. If I went up there now and tried to do the whole garden it would just be a disaster. So just bit by bit and then you'll get there. Um, so never worry about falling behind because I do all the time. You just got to pull it back again. Hope you enjoyed the vlog. If you did do subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will see you in my next vlog on Friday. See you Friday guys. Bye!